Okay, in this video, we will talk about the RL series, alternating current circuit, and RC series, and also RCL series alternating current circuit. R is resistor, L is inductor, C is capacitor. So for the RL series alternating current circuit, V is the voltage of the supply. VL is the voltage across the inductor. VR is the voltage across the resistor. So if you write V arrow equal to VL arrow plus VR arrow, this is correct because they are all vector quantities. That means that the phase angle between them might be different. If you straight away write this, it is wrong because VL and VR they are not in phase. This is only correct when VL and VR are in phase. But unfortunately, VL will lead VR by 90 degrees, so they are not in phase. So that means this formula is totally wrong. So that means that the arrow is really important. Okay, please. Don't overlook this. This is called RL series circuit. That means that R and L is in series. That means that this circuit, which is RL parallel alternating current circuit, is not studied here. Okay? Because when we are dealing with this kind of parallel arrangement, most probably we will use the imaginary number, which is I equal to square root negative 1. Okay? I guess it is, it is quite difficult for, for STBM students, so this is not in the STBM syllabus yet. Okay, recall what you have learned in the last video. Since it is a series circuit, the alternating current that flows through L is exactly the current that flows through R, and this is exactly the source current, which is the current of the supply. For the resistor, the alternating voltage across the resistor, Vr, and the current in the resistor, they are in phase. This is what you have learned in the last video. For the inductor, the voltage across the inductor, Vl, leads the current in the inductor by 90 degrees. This is also what you have learned in your last video. The mean power of resistor is this. The mean power of inductor is zero. Okay, so all of this is I'm just repeating all of this. That means that you have learned all of this in the last videos. Okay, so you know that VL will lead I, and then I is in phase with the VR. So you have to draw a phasor diagram. To show the relationship of them, you only have to make sure that VL leads VR or I by 90 degree. By 90 degree. And then VR and I are in phase. That means that if you draw it like this, it's correct. If you want to draw it like this, it's also correct. If you want to draw it like this, it is also correct. If you want to draw it like this, it is still correct. But then, you know we as the human beings, right? We like to deal with the familiar functions. That means that you know positive cosine function very well. So, we tend to use the positive cosine function. You use the positive sine function a lot. Therefore, we also like to use positive sine function a lot. And that's why we draw it like this. So, the lesson here is that you want to draw it like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. They are all correct. I don't care about your orientation. The important part is that VL must lead VR and I by 90 degrees. And then VR and I are in phase. Okay, so this is what you have drawn in your phasor diagram, okay?
I just copy here to here. Oh, by the way, in the examination, you don't have to draw the, the circle like this. Eh? I just draw this circle so that it fits the graph so that you can see very clearly. But then in the examination, you don't even have to draw this circle. You straight away draw it like this. Okay. Of course, with the current as well. Eh? I didn't draw, draw the current because I just want to find the, the, the relationship between the source voltage and the voltage across the inductor and voltage across the resistor. This is 90 degree. By the Pythagoras theorem, you know that V squared equal to VR squared plus VL squared. VR equal to IR, VL equal to IXL. Then you can arrive at this formula, V equal to IZ. Okay, what is the what is Z here? Z is called impedance. If you are asked to give the definition for the impedance in the examination, this would be your answer. That means that the impedance Z is the opposition to an alternating current due to the resistance and reactance. Impedance Z is the vector sum of resistance and reactance in an alternating current circuit. So now you have already derived Z equal to square root R square plus omega L square. So you know that when the omega increase, Z will increase. When Z increase, I will decrease when V is constant. I want to find the phase angle between the VL and also the VR. Eh, sorry, the phase angle between the V and the VR, which is this angle. Okay, the phase angle between V and VR is theta, and then tension theta equal to VL over VR. VL equal to IXL, VR equal to IR. Then by using this formula, you can know the phase angle between the V and VR. V is the source voltage. VR is the voltage across the resistor. Okay. Impedance Z is the peak source voltage over peak source current. It is also equal to root mean square source voltage over root mean square source current. And then, normally when we mention the current, we can also mention the current through the circuit or the current through the inductor or the current through a resistor because it is a series circuit. So you know that the current through here is the same as the current through here and it is also the same as the current through here. Okay, so we move on to the resistor capacitor series alternating current circuits. Okay, so this is a series Okay, this is a parallel. Okay, you don't learn it here. Okay. By the same reason, okay. By the same reasoning, V arrow equal to VC arrow plus VR arrow. Because VC and VR are actually not in phase. VR leads VC by 90 degree. Only when the VC and VR are in phase, then this is correct. But unfortunately, it's not. So this is wrong. Okay. Since it is a series circuit, then the current that flows through the capacitor is exactly the current that flows through the resistor. And it's also exactly the same as the current of the source. For the resistor, the voltage and the current are in phase. For the capacitor, the current across the capacitor will lease the voltage across the capacitor by 90 degrees. And then mean power of resistor is like this, mean power of capacitor is zero. All this thing you have already learned in the last video. Okay. So now we need to draw a phaser diagram where the VC will lag behind the I and VR by 90 degree. And then VR and I are in phase. Normally, we draw it like this because we really like to deal with the positive 
sine function a lot but then it really does not matter what your orientation is it means that this is correct this is also correct this is also correct this is also correct and this is also correct okay so what matters is you have to draw the phasor diagram such that VR and I are in phase and then VR and I lead VC by 90 degree okay VR VC V just now VR VC V here is the source voltage Okay, so V square equal to VR square plus VC square. And then VR equal to IR, VC equal to IXC, and so on. So this is V equal to IZ. Okay, there is really one thing I want to mention. That is, you either say when the current is maximum, the voltage is also maximum. If you want to talk about root mean square, then both of them have to be in root mean square. This is root mean square voltage of the source. This is the peak voltage of the source. Okay? So you, if you want to mention peak, then both of them are peak values. If you want to mention root mean square values, then both of them are root mean square values. Okay, so now once again, I want to find the phase angle between the VR and also V. Then you use this formula. Okay? So just now, for the RL series, the impedance is square root R square plus omega L square. But now for the RC series, Z equal to square root R square plus 1 over omega C square. Okay. So you know that when omega increases, Z decreases. When Z decreases, I will increase when the V is constant. Okay, let's deal with one short question first. An alternating current source with room mean square voltage of 220 volt is connected in series with a resistor of resistance 81 ohm and a capacitor of capacitance 22 microfarad. The room mean square current in the circuit is 1.8 ampere. Please calculate the impedance of the circuit. V equal to IZ. Room mean square voltage of source equal to room mean square current times Z. Then you substitute the value inside. Then you can get the Z. May I know what is the formula for the Z in the RC series circuit? Z equal to square root R square plus 1 over omega C square. And then 1 over omega C is XC. So you know the reactance of the capacitor which is XC. Then just now you already know what is XC, right? Then you can find F because XC equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. And then if you want to find the phase angle between the voltage and the current, then this is the formula that you have to use tangent theta equal to this. And then you already know the XC and then you already know the value of the resistance R. Then you know that the current leads voltage by this angle which is 48.5 degree. Okay. So let's move on to the last section of this chapter which is RCL series. That means that you finally combine all the components in the series circuit. Remember this is the series circuit, this is a parallel circuit. But you don't learn this first, you learn this first. Okay? By the same reasoning, you know that VL leads VR by 90 degree. VR leads VC by 90 degree. So they are totally not in phase. Therefore, if you straight away give me this thing, V equal to VL plus VC plus VR, this, this guarantee wrong. Because they are all not in phase. 
this is correct because you consider the face angle okay okay so this is just a recap of what you have really learned because it is a serious circuit so you know that ic equal to il equal to ir equal to i for the resistor the v and i are in phase for the capacitor the current will lead the voltage by 90 degree for the inductor the voltage will lead current by 90 degree and then the mean power of resistor is like this but the mean power of the capacitor and also the inductor are both zero okay this is really what you have learned in the last video so now you have to draw a phaser diagram such that VL will lead VR by 90 degree then VR will lead the VC by 90 degree and then VR and I are in phase okay so if you draw it like this it's correct if you draw it like this it is also correct if you draw it like this it is also correct if you draw it like this it is also correct but then normally we draw it in this orientation because we really like to deal with the positive sine function. We really like to deal with the positive cosine function. Therefore, normally we draw it like this. So this is the this is the common orientation that we use. But then, in fact, all orientations are equally correct. Okay, you realize that V L and V C are out of phase. That means that in between them there is. 180 degree which is pi radian when they are totally out of phase you can straight away minus them that means that vl minus vc okay then this is the final phaser diagram that you draw so from from this we can Get the way, get the relationship of the voltage of the supply and the voltage across the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor and also the voltage across the resistor. The relationship between them are like this. VL equal to IXL, VC equal to IXC, VR equal to IR. So you know that Z equal to square root bracket omega l minus 1 over omega c squared plus r okay so now you already know the formula for the impedance in a rcl series alternating current circuit and then when you are trying to get the phase angle between the v and also the i you will use this formula and notice that we really care if omega l minus 1 over omega c is less or greater than zero okay recall that just now when we are doing the transformation of this into this we are actually assuming that VL has a greater magnitude than VC what if VC has a greater magnitude than VL if VC has a greater magnitude than VL we will draw it like this okay if VL is greater than VC, we draw it like this. Then we say that the voltage of the supply leads the current by a phase angle theta. But if the VC is greater than VL, then we say that the source voltage lags behind the current by a phase angle theta. Okay, when we are calculating the phase angle, we really care whether VL or VC who is larger but then in the impedance we don't care because I don't care this value is negative or positive once it's being squared up everything becomes positive okay so in the next video we will talk about the Q&A of this session thank you okay.